I'm a caterer, and I was given a, um, a catering job to do in December when the first when the actor uh, called me. I was notified it was December. Um, I didn't. Um, they actually changed the date and moved it forward, and there was no way they actually notified me that the, that the date had been changed. So uh, on the day of, of the actual event, they um, they called me when everybody got back to where the reception was going to be held. And so where am I? I said, you know, what, I don't understand what you're on about. And I said, today is the, today is the venue. Today is the venue. So I asked him, come off the phone and I'll see what I can do. So what sort of event I, was this, um, Dale? Sorry, you might have said, but I missed it. I said, I, I asked for the, um, the people in that, uh, for the venue. I asked them to come off the phone. Leave the, yeah, sorry, what sort of event was this? Was it, a, was it a party? Was it What was it? No, it was a, it was a funeral. A funeral, it was a okay. funeral. Yeah, a funeral, which I do quite a lot of things. And um, I actually, okay, come off the phone, and I will see what I can do because I didn't know the date had changed. So um, I managed to, you know, run around, get this together, get that together, and I got to the to the venue, and I, I end up feeding about 150 people on on that day. Now, what the dispute is, everybody was happy with the meal. Everybody was, you know, was quite contented until they ate the meal. And then they started getting aggressive, saying that they want a full refund. Um, I was late. I was late. Had they paid the whole yeah. amount in advance, Dale? Yes, yeah, yeah. They have to do. They finish it off, you know, um, in three stages. Yep. Yes, they had, you know. That's what we have to do nowadays. So, um so they wanted them. They wanted a full refund, uh, and um, I just want to know where I stand, really. Uh, well, I, I think you know, I think this is pretty straightforward, isn't it, Dale? Um, for, first of all, you said they were happy with the food. I'm, I'm assuming it was late because inevitably, if they called you from the venue saying, "Where's the food?" No matter how good the food was, you were late to get there. I know there's the issue about you hadn't been told the new date, but from their point of view, the food was late. Correct. Yes. Right. Yes. And you say they were happy with it. Was it the same food and drink they would have got if you'd had all the time you needed to prepare and set up properly? Or was it different? No, it was exactly. In fact, it was more. It was more. And there was, you know, plenty of food left over. Okay. And in terms of quality, was it the same food? So it was, uh, for example, you weren't serving finger sandwiches as opposed to hot food due to the lack of time. No, it was, it was, it was all hot food. It was all what they wanted on the menu apart from one item which was like fish, fried fish. I couldn't get that. Fine, time. okay. But I, but I substituted it with something yeah. else. So this, this is really very, very, very simple. Um, it all depends on whether they notified you of the change of date, and they'll need to prove that they did. Um, they will either have it in an email or some other way, but if they can't prove they didn't notify you of the change of date, then they're not entitled to a single penny back. If they did tell you that they had changed the date and you somehow missed the email or, or overlooked it in some way, then they're not entitled to all of the money back, but they are entitled to something back for the stress and inconvenience that you would have caused them by not being there when you were meant to be there, if you missed the document saying we've changed the date. Uh, and that, you know, it, it's how long is a piece of string, but it's going to be of the nature of a third or a half of the value of the contract, certainly not the full value of the contract. Okay. So given they will have to sue you because you have the money, and that's a nice position to be in, Dale, well done. Given they will have to sue you, they will have to persuade a judge that you were in breach of the contract to get the money back. In other words, that you weren't there when you were meant to be there, which involves showing that you were meant to be there on the change date. So it's up to them to prove they sent you the notification, not for you to prove they didn't.